Hey friends, how are you doing? Happy Monday. It's Graeme here on uh, Monday, September 26. Wishing you a really great day. I've been uh, here in my office, so it's really quiet on a Monday. Drinking tea and uh, plotting, planning, scheming, Holy Spirit plans. So having a good day. And um, what's been going on? Well, it's been a blur this last week. Uh, so many meetings, different things going on. Uh, Saturday, we did an all-day healing conference in Norwalk, Connecticut. Sunday, wow, I'm kind of out at 7 a.m., get back about 11 p.m. So we did a service here, Sturbridge Worship Center. We did an evening of prophecy down in NEF, leaders meetings, uh, different things. So I'm a little tired, but it's been a good weekend. Um, what have I got coming up this week? On uh, Wednesday, September 28th, I'm going to be leading a night of worship here in Sturbridge Worship Center, night of prophetic worship. Very welcome to join us in our cafe. We're just going to be getting some, doing some loop pedal work and uh, just singing the songs of the Lord, singing with the angels. So a night of worship with the angels. And um, this coming Saturday, that's October the 1st, I have a ministry school session in the morning. Um, also have a, uh, an outreach in Palmer, Massachusetts at 7 p.m. in the town of Palmer. Sunday, October 2nd, I'll be here in Sturbridge Worship Center in the morning speaking on prayer. And then in the afternoon uh, in, in New England Fellowship in Norwalk, Connecticut. So, yeah, exciting time. Uh, October, Monday, October the 3rd, I fly out of the U.S. for the U.K. I'll be in Dublin Tuesday morning, um, then I'll be in uh, Manchester, Liverpool, Wales, and London for around about a week, eight days, and then back here to the US. So all is good. Good. Hey, let me share something I was reading with you, reading this morning with you. And, um, you know, I was, um, I, had a, I had a bunch of people that I'm trying to help and teach and train and mentor into teaching and preaching, and that is... Uh, you know, they were teaching on Saturday in our conference and they all did really, really well. And yet there are all things that people can improve upon. And I made a comment to a couple of people um, really about connecting with your heart. It's interesting. I remembered I was talking to somebody yesterday about there's a movie, uh, the kind of movie of Johnny Cash called Walk the Line. And in the movie, I'll try and put a clip to this as part of the notes to this. In this movie, when Johnny Cash is looking for a, a record, um, contract he goes to some recording studio and he he sings this song and i don't mean to be insulting you watch the movie but it's like this moleful drollful gospel song you know i know jesus saves me he put this joy down in my soul kind of thing and after two or three lines the guy in charge is like stop stop he's like you're wasting my time and he he just politely says look i don't i don't record that kind of music you know sorry get out of here and and Johnny Cash starts arguing with him, and the guy, he's saying, why don't you like my music? And the guy sort of says, do you really want to know? And Johnny Cash says, I really want to know. And the guy says, you don't believe in it. And Johnny Cash begins to get angry, saying, you say, you're saying I don't believe in God? And the guy's just like, look, I don't want to do this. And, he, and Johnny Cash is really insistent, why, why are you insulting me saying I don't believe in God? And in effect, the, the recorder says to him, look, it's not about God. This is not against God. I'm not saying you don't believe in God, but you don't believe that song. You're just going through the motions. And he asked Johnny Cash the question, if you were lying, you know, with three minutes left to live in a ditch, what song would you sing? What song is really going on on the inside of you? And Johnny Cash, of course, in the movie, begins singing fulsome prison blues, you know, a song about a prisoner, you know, angry and frustrated in prison, watching the train go by. And my point is, that's a real thing. And I, I was sharing this in the context of preaching and saying, when we preach, um, so often we can say things that are true, but are they really burning within us? Or have we just prepared a bunch of notes and we're giving them and blah, 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 blah. And it's true. And it doesn't mean somebody can't engage with it, but is that truth living in us? And I know when I hear somebody preach or teach, I want to know what sets you on fire. I want to know what you're angry about, what you're excited about, what you're passionate about. And uh, there's a verse in 1 Peter 3, 15. People often use uh, to relate to apologetics, you know, and it says, sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. Be ready always to give an answer to every man who asks uh, of you a reason for the hope that is in you. And I think when we read that verse, Traditionally, we always talk about, you know, be ready to give a reason. 
And I was thinking about that today. It doesn't say be ready to give a reason. It says be ready to give a reason for the hope that is in you. And it kind of occurred to me in a way, and I'd suggest that's true of you, myself, anybody who ever might share their faith or preach. I don't want to hear your reasons until I see your hope. Let me say that again. I don't want to know about the reasoning, the clever arguments, the, even the theology you've got until you show me your hope, until you show me that you actually really believe in this, that it's burning in you. It says give a reason for the hope that is in you. It doesn't say go around giving people reasons to believe. And at times we've got to show people the hope that we have before we can tell them about the reasons we believe in. Selah. So here's my encouragement to you today, to myself, or this, you know, my journal, my thoughts earlier. I mean, like, absolutely, we should have logical, good theology. We should know what we believe. But we've actually got to begin with hope. May the God of hope fill you with peace, joy and peace in believing. And uh, we've got to be, what we live, what we contend that we believe should be overflowing in our hearts when we do that. And people will never connect with your reason until they connect with your hope, Sila. Boom. That's all I've got for you today, guys. So I'm actually recording a course this week on spiritual disciplines, a 12-part course for my ministry school. Hope to have that online next week. And uh, so I'm going to go back to that. Have a great day. Drop me a line. If you're on, new to our YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button down there. Give the bell similar long press. Check out the links below, including our email newsletter. It goes out every Friday. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon in the plan of God. Bye for now.